All right, so we're here um, at the park with Kali, our model today. She's wearing that beautiful dress. And on the camera, I got Ryan. He's helping me today. He's, we're also like sharing this amazing photo shoot. Our plan today is to balance the sunlight and the sky and everything in the model with our flash, kind of getting some um, beautiful day light balance with the flash and beautiful portraits. We're also gonna be using natural light for this. And what we're using for our gear is this amazing <laughs> parabolic octabox or parabolic um, softbox from Godox. It's a 120L and we're using the Godox Explore uh, 600. This is gonna give us enough power to compensate for the sun and it's going to just make our job a little easier. Having this big source of light is also gonna give us a very nice soft wrapping light around the model. And also, we are uh, controlling the light by using this grid over here, which allowed us to just focus the light on her and not make it way, way too bright for anything or like, don't let the light spill too much. So this is what we're gonna do. And the first thing that we have to do is obviously turn off our flash and expose for the ambient in just the model like that. Make sure that um, everything else looks good. She's a little bit underexposed in the picture. This would be a great natural light picture because we can edit later and like, we actually will do it. But if I just add the flash and in the lowest setting of power, I can just start testing. And that's kind of nice for like a balanced ambient light right there. And if I just start increasing the power little by little and testing, I can get to my sweet spot where I can have a beautiful flash on her, making her pop, popping colors and beautiful blur background. Right now my settings are f2.0, I'm at 150 to the second shutter speed and ISO 50. But if you have a high speed sync flash like I do, you can use your f-stop to 2.8 or 1.4, any f-stop that you want. But you can darken the scene by just pushing up the shutter speed. And this way you can just have your nice exposure for the background and then just use your flash to compensate and make the model stand out and pop. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's just take a couple more shots. Um, I, I also have the model positioned right with the sun behind her. And what is, what is cool about this is that, uh, Kelly, can you step back a little bit? Right there. See how the sun is wrapping around her um, hair and her shoulders is making a nice separation of her from the background. And I'm having the flash on the opposite side of the sun, which is great because I'm making, I call it like a sandwich of light. We have the sun as a kicker light in the back. We have the flash 45 degrees from the model and I'm standing right in front of the model. So I will have light from one side of the model and I will have light from the other side of the model and this is just gonna look great. Let's see, would you touch your hair a little bit? Here we go. And that's amazing, awesome. Now uh, look that way and turn around to the camera. This is great. So. Another thing that I like to do is having my flash kind of behind the model in 45 degrees behind her. And this way I'm gonna have like a um, Rembrandt light, but I'm actually like looking at her from the shadow side. And this is gonna give us for a nice contrast image. Look. Okay, face that way, like you are doing. Mm -hmm. Let's have this right here. It's kind of 45 degrees. And all I have to do is just Take the picture again. Here we go. Smile. Excellent. This is great. Here we go. One, two, three. Awesome. So in this example, I have a very dynamic picture right there. Ryan is taking some photos of her turning around and kind of trying to capture the movement of her hair as she turns around. The light is just beautiful. As I was telling you, we got the sun back there, using the sun as a rim light or as a kicker, and having the flash 45 degrees from the model will give this beautiful Rembrandt, but we're shooting from the shadow side, so that will give for more contrast and more shadows, which is
which is great, more dynamic. All right, so we are here now in this dock at the lake, and I'm gonna try to use mostly natural light here. Uh, it's just gonna be my 85, 1.4. Um, any nice lens with a big aperture will work just fine. Um, the settings that I'm gonna use here, I'm basically just kind of like building along the way. So I'm going to first expose for the scene with maybe like a 100 ISO, 1.4, and I'm just gonna use my speed as high as I need until I get basically exposure that I want. In this case, it's um, 800 to the second. And I'm just gonna change my white balance just to see the photos a little warmer now. Anyways, you can always change that afterwards in post. It doesn't matter how you shoot it. You shoot it like cold or warm but I like to see the photos like this and that inspires me more, you know, the better it looks in the camera, the more inspired you get and the model also get more inspired too. So, Kali, you look great right there. Um, let's see, maybe if you move here, I can have some sun on her hair and basically looking this way, maybe can, can you like lean more and stretch your back, there you go, that's great. Wonderful, that uh, looks awesome. Now I wanna have you um, maybe like sitting right here in this corner with your face this way. Sit down, please. Look at all these ducks or geese? Ducks, here you go. Now here I'm gonna be like looking down to her so I have a beautiful blur background with the water and I'm gonna have her face looking up. Look up here. That is awesome. That looks just, look up again. Look down. That looks so cool. Can you look down like this way? I'm gonna try to go low here, kind of incorporate some of the guiding lines of these boards on the floor, um, all the way to her. I'm gonna have to pull out my, um, Camera screen, love it. I like that subtle smile right there. Now I'm gonna try something really risky. I'm gonna try to use my flash on the edge of the water. If you see it just running, get it. Cause it's, it's kind of breezy right now. So the problem is that that thing over there, can you, can you look at it? That thing over there is basically a, a, a boat sail. <laughs> it's like a big balloon is waiting to fly into the water or far away. So I'm gonna take the risk and see how it goes. I'm gonna set this up. So you may be thinking, you should get some sandbags from Amazon. Five dollars, you get a sandbag. Say it's a five hundred dollars flash or something. Um, I do have sandbags, but do I remember to fill them up? Do I remember to bring them? Do I even care <laughs> to carry them around? No. I like living my life on the edge. <laughs> Literally on the edge of the water. That's where this is gonna be. All right, so, now let's see if I can get this in here. There you go. Turn it on and pray to the gods of photography that this does not fall in the lake. Okay, <laughs> are you praying? And obviously, as soon as you pull this flash out, it starts getting more windy. So my idea here right now, I'm going to underexpose her in the environment, or the surrounding, sorry, and expose her with this. I'm gonna be having the flash facing in front of her, and I'm gonna be like on the side as well. Once again, I wanna get like some directional light. Never flash uh, the model right in front because you kill all the, um, shadows and all the contrast and you have a flat image. You never want a flat image when you are doing photography. And you never want to do this that I'm doing. So, uh, it's part of the adrenaline. At least it's blowing into the dock and not into the water, but still not very convenient. Let's see how this goes. All right. Now quickly, I'm gonna adjust my exposure here. She's a little darker. I'm gonna do a test. All right, maybe more power. 
I got it right there, okay? Kali, you're gonna be like looking down, that's good. Oh yeah, look at that. Now look at me, look up. Get your uh, hand closer to your, uh, can be in your um, tights. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. I'm trying to photograph from down, from up down. So I have only water in the background and looks just fine. Do this. Here we go. That looks amazing. I want to do it also with natural light. Do it again, please. Just what, um, what I'm getting now in this picture, and I really love it, is that we got a lot of light back there by the center of the lake, and we had a lot of dark over here. So I have a nice grading in the picture. In the background, we have the blue goes from light blue, kind of, to dark blue, and that makes it super nice and dynamic. I really love it. So I did it with natural light, and I also did it with uh, flash, and it looks amazing. Look at that. And that's with flash. That is really good. I really like that. She likes it more with flash. <laughs> <laughs> that's normal. Everybody always likes it more with flash. Now give me a nice portrait looking straight into the camera. This is a close up of your face right there. Super nice. Something cool about having the model looking up is that people have a tendency to open more their eyes when they look up. So this is really cool. She has some great blue eyes. So with the blue in the water back there, we get a beautiful portrait right there. Can you do it again? All right, now it's Ryan's time. He's gonna do some shots with this same setup and see how it goes. We got Ryan on camera. And there's Kali. And this is what I'm doing. This is my sandbag right there. <laughs> If I were to photograph like this, I'll probably be doing splits here on the dock and photographing Kali like this. <laughs> Literally doing yoga right here. <laughs> All right, this is a wrap. We finished, I think we got some really cool photos. We used natural light and flash. So, well, thank you Kali for being with us. And thank you, Ryan, for also helping us. Just wait and see the results. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Share with your friends and see you next time. Bye.